Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to start a fishing blog step by step. So be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if this video or any other video on this channel helps you out. So basically what we're going to do today is I'm going to explain exactly what a fishing blog is, how to pick a niche, and then niche down. As you know, fishing is a pretty large niche. There's a lot of opportunity if you do it the right way. The next thing we're going to cover is how to get web hosting, what web hosting is, and why you need it for your website. After that, we are going to install WordPress, install a WordPress theme. I'm actually going to show you how to install a premium WordPress theme, important changes that you absolutely need to make to get up and running, how to start writing, and how to make money from your blog. In addition, I'm going to show you how and why you need to share your content on social media, about how many blog posts that you should write to get started, and the three links that we are going to cover in this video. Definitely check those out. Those are going to be important for you to get up and running. First things first, what is a fishing blog? Now, as you know, you are going to simply write about fishing, but you are going to answer questions about fishing. People are coming to the internet and they're asking tons of questions about fishing. In the very beginning, while you are interested in writing about fishing, you need to niche down. For example, if we take a look at this website here, this is a large website. They're writing about fishing, but they're answering basic questions. How oh, your cost to start fishing can be less than $50. That's a question people are asking. If you scroll through here, you look, people are asking questions about saltwater fishing, pontoon boat fishing, all of these different things. When you start your website, I recommend that you focus on individual topics. Uh, for example, in this area, bass fishing and sturgeon fishing are incredibly popular, and those are good niches to get into. To help illustrate this point, I'm just going to type in fishing, and you're going to see that the keyword difficulty is fairly difficult. On a scale of 0 to 100, 48 isn't too hard, but it can. It means there's a lot of competition. If we go over to matching terms here, you're going to see a mixture of green, yellow, orange, and red. As you can see, these are different keywords that people are searching. Now, what I recommend that you do, which I think could help you a lot, is if you do something like bass fishing. Bass fishing is a sub niche within fishing. If we go back over to overview, let's see how competitive bass fishing is. As you can see, it's slightly less difficult. And if we look at some of the matching terms here, as you know, with bass fishing, there's going to be different requirements, different things that you need than sword fishing. Sword fishing, obviously, it's going to be salt water. You're going to need a giant boat. You're going to need different reels and all of that good stuff. But if you look at this, you can see there are 257,000 monthly searches, 61,000 keywords, and there's a good mix of green, which means there's opportunity for a brand new website. You could also do something like sturgeon fishing, which again is popular in my area. If we go back over here, we paste this in. You're going to see again a good mixture of green, yellow, red, a lot of opportunity. 9,000 searches per month. That means that a brand new website could get run up and running relatively easy. So first things first, pick a niche, niche down. So now that you've picked your niche within phishing, the next step is to get web hosting. You need web hosting for people to see your, your website. And what you're going to do is you're going to click the first link in the description and work with that web hosting provider. You're going to rent hard drive space from that web hosting company so people from around the world can see your website. Click the first link in the description and get a domain name for free for the first year. Now, your domain name is how we refer to your website. For example, this website here is called takemefishing.org. That's how humans refer to different websites. And so when you click that first link, you are going to get web hosting and domain name. Now, I'm actually going to show you how to set everything up. It takes less than 10 minutes, but I'm going to walk you through the steps, step by step, everything from getting web hosting to picking a domain name and getting and installing WordPress. So go ahead, we're gonna do that right now together. When you click that link, you'll be taken to this website where you'll go ahead and click get started. What I recommend is to click the first one on the far left, the basic plan if you're just getting started with a website. As you can see, there are a number of options, but click that, click select, and then move on. Here, you're going to create a domain name. If you have one in mind, you can type it in here like you see that I do. What I recommend is try and find a domain name It's going to be related to your niche. Now, what I do is I type in a domain name that I know is already taken. When it's taken, you're gonna get this error. What you can then do is go back and try different domains. Now, make sure again, you wanna pick one that's related to your niche. Click next, and then you're gonna see a green box that says that it's approved. The next step is simply to go through and enter in your contact information. Make sure that you, when you scroll down here, make sure that you leave all of the settings on. Um, but Again, enter in your contact information, the settings right here where it says domain privacy, leave all of this checked. 
If you don't leave it checked, you're going to get people reaching out to you, uh, spamming you, emailing you, trying to get you to sign up for web hosting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sign up and then jump back to you once I sign on and move to the next step. All right, so I have signed up and I'm going to go ahead and set up my website initially. Just create a simple username and password, make sure it meets the requirements there and then move on. Um, make sure that you write it down too. Write it down in a safe spot so that you have it and you remember it because it can be a pain to go ahead and get everything back. You're gonna have to enter in like some vital information, but just make sure that you write it down. It's really easy and really simple. Now, one thing that I do wanna note is that this part is not sped up at all. This is actual real time, and you can see that you'll go from absolutely nothing to a complete website in less than probably 10 minutes. And once you click submit, you're gonna move on to the next step where you get to log in. Here is where you're actually going to start creating your WordPress website. Now, the great thing is, is Bluehost really does everything for you and it's really simple. So again, I'm not speeding this up at all, and I want you to see what it really takes to create a website. Bluehost is gonna do a little bit of work in the background for you, and we're just gonna actually click on skip this step. This one, first one I clicked on, start a blog, but for the next step, just click skip because we know what we're doing and I'm actually gonna tell you what to do so that we can get up and running. Click get started right here on the left-hand side and then move on. Just click skip here and click skip here. And then just pick the first one in the far left. Make sure that you're picking a free theme because they'll charge you. They have both free and premium themes, which I'll talk about in just a moment. So right now it's actually creating your WordPress website. In just a few moments, you're gonna click on log in to WordPress on the right hand side there. You'll see it in just a second. And then we can actually start looking at some basic configurations. All right, so we click log in and now we actually have a WordPress website. What may need to happen is you may need to click refresh a few times to get it to, to work, but now we have our website, as you can see. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna log in and delete a few plugins, because right now it has the coming soon. And so if someone tried to get to your website at this moment, it's gonna say coming soon to them, even though we can see it. This is what your WordPress website looks like, but for everyone else outside of your network, it's gonna say coming soon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to plugins eventually, and we're going to delete some of the plugins that we don't need. Now, I talk a little bit about plugins later on, but um, plugins add additional features and functionality. We are going to deactivate the Bluehost as well as the um, other plugins that are already activated. And then we can go through and make the necessary changes, which I'll cover in just a moment. So we're going to deactivate them and then delete them. Now, you want to make sure that you only have the plugins that you're using on your website. The more plugins you have, the slower your website's going to respond and, and function, and you're gonna lose out on ranking. So make sure you have a lean setup, very few plugins, and then move on. As you can see right now, I'm just simply deleting some stuff that you don't need. Uh, if you want to, you could keep them, but obviously, if, if you're just getting started, you don't need this other stuff. What's more important is the themes that we're gonna talk about in just a moment as well as getting writing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete, delete those, deactivate them, and then we're actually gonna start moving on to settings, which you see right here. All right, so let's go ahead and make some changes that we absolutely have to make so that you can start getting traffic. The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna change your site title. Your site title is going to be the title of your website. You can make this basically your domain name. For example, my domain name is Web Hosting Rewind, and you can see that's my site title. And then the tagline is, basically what your website's all about in a very succinct manner. As you can see here, mine says, get the latest news and info on all things web hosting. What you want to do is make sure that yours is relevant to your niche. For example, if you are creating content about makeup, you can say, come here for the latest tips and tricks for all things makeup. Next, you want to make sure that your WordPress address is HTTPS and not HTTP. Make sure your site address is HTTPS as well. And then the administration email should automatically be set. Um, uncheck the membership so that anyone can register. Make sure that this is unchecked. Um, if we scroll down here, you want to change your time zone to your time zone. There are all sorts of them here. Next, you want to make sure that you have your date format set to the way you want, and then go ahead and click save. If we go down to writing, there isn't anything in writing that we need to change. After that, we're going to go to reading. In reading, very important, you want to make sure that your homepage displays to your latest post. That's the first thing. And the second one is you want to make sure that your search engine visibility is unchecked. Do not check this. 
discourage search engines from indexing this site. You do not want this because if this is checked, people aren't going to be able to find your website and everything that we do after this is going to be a waste. So go ahead and click save. This should be unchecked. Next, if we go down to discussion, there really isn't anything that we need to change here. Media, we can leave this as is, and then permalinks is going to be really important. Right now, your permalinks are set to plain. You wanna change it to post name. This is done for search engine optimization. What's gonna happen is when we create a new blog post, we are going to make it so that it's search engine optimized. We're gonna use the keyword in our title, and that keyword is gonna show up right here as well. And this is called search engine optimization. Make sure that it's set to post name and then go ahead and click save. And really that's everything that you need to do to make sure that you start getting traffic. All right, so now that you've installed WordPress, you've installed a WordPress theme. Now this is a free theme. I'm gonna show you how and why you need a premium theme in just a second. We've made some very important changes to your website. Now, as I mentioned, you have a basic free theme on your website. That free theme is good to start, but it's incredibly limiting. It lacks features and functionality. What I recommend that you do is click the second link in the description and get a premium WordPress theme. When you click that second link, you'll be taken to this website and you are going to get a WordPress theme that offers more features and functionality and it's going to look more like like something that you want to read. For example, this is a premium WordPress theme. It looks more engaging. It looks inviting. In fact, it almost looks like waves right here and it invites you to click. What I recommend that you do is type in phishing hit enter, and you're gonna see there are a bunch of themes that are gonna be relevant to your audience. As you can see, if we scroll down here, you can buy a theme for as little as $20 or as expensive as $70, but I recommend you find one that you like and add it to the cart. Once you add it to the cart, you're going to check out and you're going to buy the WordPress theme. Once you buy that theme, you're going to download the theme to your computer and unzip it. Once you unzip that initial zip file, there's going to be a second zip file. We are going to take that second zip file and we're going to go to appearance. We're gonna click on themes. We're gonna click on add new, and then we are going to click on upload theme. You are going to drag and drop that second zip file, or you're gonna click here and choose file and find that file manually. Regardless of what you do, you're gonna click on install now and you're going to click on activate. Once you activate that theme, you are going to have a premium WordPress theme on your website. The next step is simply to start writing. And the number one question that I get all the time is how do I start writing? The second question I get all the time is how long should my blog post be? So what we're gonna do is we are going to go over here, we're going to click on posts, and we are going to click on add new, and we're going to create a new post. To create a new post, we're gonna use one of the keywords that we found here. For example, we are just going to copy over Sturgeon Bay Fishing Report. We're gonna copy this and we're gonna go back over to add new and we're gonna paste that in. This is our keyword. This is what people are searching for with regard to Sturgeon Bay Fishing. And we are simply going to answer this question. Now if we delete that. And to figure out how long our blog post should be, we are going to look at and see what other competitors are doing. First, we're gonna paste that in just like that. And we're just gonna go through and we're probably gonna open up a few of these to get an idea about Sturgeon Bay Fishing. Another thing that we can do and this is gonna actually help us write a little bit longer, is we're going to ask ourselves who, what, when, where, why, and how. And we're going to use these questions to brainstorm to come up with different questions that are related to our keyword. In this example, it's Sturgeon Bay Fishing. Um, we would say what, what documents are required to start Sturgeon Bay Fishing. Um, when can you start sturgeon? When can you fish? When can you start fishing sturgeon? You want to write down questions that people are going to be asking in relation to sturgeon or sturgeon bay. Now, this isn't a good example because this is actually referring to um, a city in Wisconsin. We could do the same thing for bass. Let's go back over here and we'll do bass fishing. So we'll do bass fishing. I'm just going to share, change this real quick. Uh, let's see, best fishing tips is going to be a good one. We're going to copy this, go back over here, and for example, we're just going to paste that right there like that. And let's see, best fishing tips, everything you need to know. All right. And so we can say how to start bass fishing. And then we'll say maybe what reels are needed. What reels? are needed 
to start bass fishing. So when you do this, when you ask questions, it's going to help you write longer. It's going to help you answer your customers' questions. And again, we want to look and see about how long the other blog posts are in this space, and we want to make them around the same length. If we just open this first one here, discoverboating.com, we're going to highlight all of these. This is probably only like a 500 word blog post. Look at the word counter here, 875. So you want to make your blog post about 1,000 to 1,500 words, as long as you're providing relevant information. And you can do that if you use the method that I recommend. Uh, where are the best places to fish for bass? How do how to catch larger bass. These are all questions that people are going to be asking, especially if they are interested in bass fishing. And you can help solve that problem. You're going to start getting traffic and you're going to start making money if that is your goal. And so what you're going to do is you're simply going to turn these into subheadings and you are going to answer these questions. You can say the best reels for bass fishing are, and then you can list a, a few. And we just want to clean these up here, of course. And then once you have written your blog post, you are simply going to click on publish and then it's going to be live for the world to see and read. And so if we jump back over to our slide deck here, the next thing we want to take a look at is making money with our with our blog. And there are a ton of ways to make money. If we go back over here, one way to make money is simply by running ads, by placing ads right on your website. It doesn't look like either of these guys are doing it, but you can do that. You can work with a company called Google AdSense. And when you sign up with them, they'll actually walk you through the steps of placing ads automatically on your website. Now, when you first get started with Google Ads, you are going to make very little money. You're going to make pennies on the dollar, but you're still going to have some money coming in. Once you start getting real traffic, 1,500, 1,000, 10,000 page views per month, you can work with other ad networks out there, Zoic, Mediavine, Media.net, and they're going to pay you a significant more amount of money or placing ads on the website, but that's just one way to make money. Another way that you can make money is with affiliate marketing. Now with affiliate marketing, you are going to recommend different products and services that are relevant to your customer or audience base. So what you'll do is you can work with a company like Bass Pro Shops or Cabela, some of the, the sport and game dick sporting goods. You'll sign up to become an affiliate with one of those websites. They'll give you a unique URL called an affiliate link, and you'll place those affiliate links right on your website. When people click and buy, for example, if we go back over here, if, for example, you had like the best reel, they click on that, they buy the reel, you get paid a commission. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about affiliate marketing, I do have a free course. It's the third link in the description that you can learn more about affiliate marketing step by step. You can also sell your own physical and digital products. Maybe you have a custom reel, a custom lure, or something like that. You can sell it right on your website, but that's outside the scope of this video. But there are a number of ways to make money right on your website. After we learned how to make money, you want to share your content on relevant social media. What you want to do is you want to go out and find maybe relevant forums. Uh, Facebook groups, Instagram, TikTok, Reddit, find relevant places where people are interested in your fishing topic and share your blog posts there. The reason why you want to do that is in the very beginning, Google is going to take a lot of time comparing your new website to more established websites. And so you're not going to get a lot of traffic from Google in the very beginning. But a great way to build an audience and get lots of traffic relatively fast is going and sharing your content on relevant social media platforms. Again, you can share it in relevant subreddits, Facebook groups. You can start your own Facebook group. There's a number of places that you can share it and you can start building an audience. And if Google sees that you are building your own audience, they're going to be more likely to help you build your audience as well. And so the next thing you want to do is write. And the third question that I get all the time is about how many blog posts should I write? And in my opinion, in the beginning, you should set a goal of writing 50 blog posts. The reason why you want to write 50 blog posts is simply because you're going to write much better by the time you get to that 50th blog post. Number two, you're going to have 50 blog posts that are focused on a keyword or a series of keywords. That's going to give you some domain authority. A lot of bloggers will quit after 10 blog posts. And so you want to make sure that you are showing Google that you're serious. And the best way to show Google that you're serious is to go out and write 50 blog posts. Now, I recommend that you write one blog post every day for 50 days 
or write one blog post every other day for 100 days. Regardless, your goal should be 50. So be sure to check out the three links in the description. The first link is to get web hosting. The second link is to get a premium WordPress theme. And the third link is to get a free affiliate marketing course. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.